Hello, I thought today we would make some characters. So my friend Apollo and I run a shelter on Toy House called the Apollo Berry Shelter. And on there you can donate characters or you can adopt characters. And we and when you donate characters, they are assigned a berry value. So a character might be worth 20 berries and that's how many berries you need to adopt the character. But when you donate the amount the character is worth, that's how much your balance is. So then you can adopt characters. And um, I did claim some a couple of characters from there recently, so I thought maybe I would would um, refresh the pit by refresh the pit. That's certainly one way of saying it. Refresh the box by drawing a couple of characters to give over to the shelter. So I'm gonna. So that's what today's video is. I'm gonna design some characters with me. I was thinking of, of doing a Pride themed one, since the video will probably come out during Pride Month. But I think to start with we'll just do a batch of random characters. And maybe a future video will be a Pride one. So this first character I think is going to be an alien. I don't know what kind of alien they are. I just want to draw someone with a, a different coloured skin that is not typically human. <laughs> and lately I've been doing this in a different way of art where I draw all on one layer. So that's what you're going to see me doing today. Because honestly it's, it's somehow quicker. <laughs> just somehow is quicker. I do some sketching but then I just kind of paint over top of it and the sketching is kind of very minimal. It depends on what I'm drawing. Like at the moment I don't know where this drawing is going beyond I'm doing eyes right now. <laughs> like there is no planning ahead. I've just decided that this character will have gold eyes um, because for some reason I'm feeling like using yellowy and gold and brown colors. We will of course do some variation throughout this series. You can feel free to comment some suggestions for characters. Um, and of course if you happen to like any characters, go check them out on Toy House, see if they're still available. And on my private Toy House I do have a couple of characters for sale, if you would rather go that route. It really is up to you. I have a tendency to like doing the eyes first because I just enjoy colouring eyes. I think eyes are fun. So we're doing this specifically so it takes up half the screen. So then I can copy the headshot and put it on the other side. So you get a full body image of a character and a headshot. Because I think that's a good way to do it. And a thing I've been doing lately with the eyes is rather than making the eye whites just straight white, I tend to make them a, a kind of diluted colour of the sk that matches the skin and put even a little bit of pink into it because I find it adds a little more life to them. Basically my colours are not as clean per se, but I feel like it gives a little more push to the colours and I like doing the uh, the pupil part of the eye in orange because I think it looks fun. It gives a little bit more brightness to it and little eye shines and then we go over the top line again, the upper lid. I don't know if how many characters we'll do per, per video. It kind of just depends on how long it takes to do one and how my hand feels because honestly my wrist was kind of hurting before I even started drawing today. <laughs> And this isn't the first drawing I've done today, so we'll see how how long we last. We're doing a yellow skin character first. Uh, not really sure why, I just feel yellow. Not in the sense that I'm unusually chirpy or happy, but just I like yellow. Yellow is actually my favourite colour. Bonk, bonk, bonk. But at the same time, it kind of disappoints me that yellow is my favourite colour because that's like the one colour I wouldn't want to dye my hair. Because I typically dye my hair 
bright colors like I had it half red half purple it is now extremely faded so the way I draw myself will have to change to reflect that because I like having it so the way I draw myself reflects what I really look like but at the same time I also have different variations of myself different personas for when I want to draw myself depending on mood <laughs> I really want to make a fursona because I think they are fun and they're cute and then maybe I can commission others to draw it for me because I do not have much practice drawing anthro characters <laughs> so if I made a fursona I probably would just end up wanting other people to draw it so I need to save up so I can start commissioning artists to draw the characters that I want to have but won't feel as confident drawing. <laughs> We're just colouring in the face. Uh, I know this isn't the most efficient way to colour. Like, I could use the fill bucket, but I'm not going to, thank you. And plus the fact I end up having to redraw parts of it, because I'm drawing on one layer, so you, you tend to go over other details. But you know what, that's fine by me. That is especially fine by me. So my thing lately is I... I have my background layer and then I have the layer I'm painting on and that's about it. Sometimes I will throw a layer on top and do something that I'm less certain about. Like I did a drawing where I did I did most of the character and then I was uncertain about how I was going to draw the arm. So I did the arm on a layer above and then I mushed it down when I felt a little more certain. And I'm just using um, a watercolour brush. It's in the brush section on Clip Studio Paint. It is the round mixing brush and the thick paints. And that's kind of the brush that I've been using when I do these ones where I only use one brush and one layer. For, of course not all of them are strictly one layer as I say. I think it's fun for practice like um... No Toby go away stay off my laptop I think it's fun for, um, for, I don't know, I just think it's fun, <laughs> the, only using the one brush. I was also using this brush here that I downloaded. It was a free brush, I think, I don't know. I've got a lot of random brushes, if I'm honest. Um, I can tell you where some of them are from, but not all of them. But I do typically, I, I like to tell people what I'm using if they want to know. I don't really encounter people wanting to know what I'm using, but hey, the, the, I'm happy to offer up the knowledge if people want it. Okay, zoom in. Let's get some eyelashes done. I've also got to decide what colour hair this character is going to have. So with eyelashes, I, I'm still kind of figuring out how I like to draw them, but I find if you do eyelashes, so there's this little bit here, it tends to look nice. That eyelash looks a little bit thick and chunky, but you know what? I'm going to keep it because I can. <sighs> Toby, stay off my desk. What is it with you cats and going on my desk? I get you want snuggles, but now is not the time. Go snuggle with your brother. They're not really related, but they've been pretty much raised together. Um, they might be leaving next week. Or next month it is the um, 30th of May here and I don't know how much longer I have the the two of um, Elsa and Toby for you getting neutered on on Wednesday I'm gonna miss them both a lot when they go because I've gotten used to having them here but at the same time where I'm living is not enough space to be able to keep them and honestly it's a little bit expensive paying to feed five cats <laughs> and you know what if these vet bills in future I don't really want to have to deal with potential emergencies of five cats like Akira my oldest cat she's due for a vet appointment and so is Serafina because the both of the um Akira she's just she just could just do with an update on some of her vaccinations and Serafina had some health problems and I want her to have a checkup just to make sure that she is 
on track and doing okay but she has actually gained a lot of weight from when she was having those health issues and kind of sickly I kind of randomly smush and smold at the skin until it looks like something I like if I'm honest like I can't give you any particular details on that just look at what I'm doing and you'll understand it I think I will give them a nice orangey red here so orange eyebrows do we want to give them antennas it could be fun antenna because you know they're an alien they deserve it they deserve it I hope someone ends up adopting this character and really liking it that would be fun I'd love to see someone having lots of fun with this character honestly mush 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 so we won't do the hair until we have a bit more of the body done because if the hair is long obviously it would intercede with the body a bit so it's easier if I hold off on doing that um, let's give them lips lips nope I'm still kind of learning to draw lips because lips are kind of hard if I'm honest Monk. There we go. I find a lot of the times if I'm too zoomed in while I'm drawing lips, I will zoom out and look at them and I'll go, oh, that looks ridiculous. So it's, whenever I draw lips, it's like, don't be too zoomed in or it will look really stupid. Which makes sense. I think I'm going to give them antennas just so they have more of an alien look to them. Because I don't know that they look particularly alien right now. Like, I don't think they anything about them particularly screams, I'm an alien. I feel like the colours in their eyes look kind of muddy too, but I, I don't know, I'm fine with it. I think I, think I like the, car, the colour palette so far. Let's give them some nice little stalky stalks. They're not going to be the most exciting stalky stalks. They're just, you know, attached to their head. And have a little... Oh, they could have a little leaf on the end of each one. A little, little leaf. Maybe they're a plant people. Oh, I like that idea. Here we go. Give them a little leaf for the little antennas, the little stalks. You could be the shading. I'll obviously have to erase some of that original st st structure-y thing that I did. Because it's kind of weird at the moment, but that's fine. Sometimes things are weird. Also don't know how I'm going to move this voice file to my laptop because I used to just send it in a in a discord server that I store things in but um, I don't have nitro at the moment so I can't send big files and the and the voice files tend to be bigger than what you can send without nitro so yeah that's a thing I think this mixture of green and yellow will be fun and of course if someone adopts it they can change the character in any way they want you know, once they've adopted it, it's their character. They can do what they want with it. Maybe I could make them a, this a species of some kind. Maybe. But, you know, I'm just designing this as something that someone can potentially adopt. I don't need to put too much thought into it. Okay. So, we've got <laughs> one tiny head that does, takes up barely of any of the screen. It's fine. And we're already 14 minutes in, so I think we're only going to draw one character today. Maybe in future we'll get faster at doing this. I don't know. Almost at the wrong colour there. Neck. I wonder what other alien features we can think of. Feel free to comment alien features you would want to see. 
like if you have particular character traits and aspects you want me to see draw on characters feel free to comment in them or if you have particular ideas like you'd like to see me do a Pokemon inspired character suggest me a Pokemon or if you just any ideas honestly and I'll either consider them or I'll explain why I don't want to consider them Bonky bonk bonk bonk. I like that when you draw, when you colour on one layer, it's really easy to smudge colours around like this. So, you know, the colours just blend in such a nice way. I mean, I know you can do blending of colours when you, you change the layer type, but I've never really learned how to do that. So, this is my lazy way of doing it. Well, I say lazy, but I don't know how lazy it actually is. Like, I, I, I watch other artists' channels on YouTube plenty, and yet I still don't really understand the way other people work when it comes to art. Like, it makes no sense to me. There we go. Whew. You have a little neck. I think I'm going to end up giving this character long here. Maybe green with little bits of red mixed in could be fun. Um, what colour shirt do we want them to wear? Bright pink. I think a bright pink kind of shirt would be fun. Oh, let's have them wearing a jumpsuit. So this is their chest. The human are that they have titties apparently. So that's something. I think they're going to wear a kind of shirt that's a one piece, so it's, it, it's a jumpsuit kind of thing. Just because I feel like drawing that. Boop. Once we have their shoulders drawn, we can draw their hair. The hair might blend a little bit with the shirt, we'll have to see. We can either change the hair colour or change the shirt colour if it comes to that. You know, that's the thing, nothing is set in stone. Bonky bonk bonk. It's a slightly darker colour so we can define these edges. actually particularly tired I'm I don't know I'm not like tired like I need to go to sleep I'm tired like I'm mentally tired <laughs> my arm kind of hurts but I I, I want to draw I should probably pause and do some stretches after I've recorded this video stretchy stretch stretch stretchy the arm stretchy the me stretchy the everything I like how our characters coming out so far Doop, 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 doop. Color pick so we get the right color because we want to switch to this lighter color so we can do some coloring. Um, increase the opacity a little bit. maybe do a video where I focus on different cut on singular colors like this one is um, mostly you know um, yellows and reds and pinks yellow red pink kind of thing with bits of green but maybe a future character could be you know more limited in colors we could, you know expand as we continue the series Assuming I do continue the series and this isn't a one-off. 
Assuming I even post this video, I mean, there's always a chance that I just go, nah, and don't post it. <laughs> let's hope I don't do that, though. And let's hope I don't end up taking a million years to design just this one character. For, I guess, considering I'm drawing a full body of something, this isn't bad time to make. I mean, I'm doing the colouring and the, the everything all in one as I go, so, you know. This is about as fast as that could happen. <laughs> so I guess if you like this type of video, I hope you like long videos. I know I personally like long videos. I mean, I probably like them more when the person's talking more, because I definitely have a tendency to lapse into silence. I'm actually getting some new pen colouring pencils, so maybe I'll do a video with them when they arrive. There's this brand of pencils that I've been wanting for a really long time, and they're really expensive. And I didn't get those pencils, but I got a, a little bit of a cheaper pencil type that's still more expensive than any of the pencils I currently own. So I'm really excited to try them, and I have some ideas for some sketchbooks that I, I have. And I also got some highlighters, because I want to do more stuff with that. I mean, I don't really tend to share my traditional art online as much. I like the art that I post on social media to be polished stuff and I never really feel like my art that's traditional is polished per se. Um, it does kind of annoy me that it goes so far down the torso and then randomly darkens like that. But that's kind of just the way I've shaded it, so of course it's like that. There you go. I feel like the, what this way of colouring means the shading is very smudgy and very blocky, but I kind of like that about it. I feel like it gives it a different vibe to my usual art. I've been recording time lapses more often too, which is fun. Um, I do still have my January, February, March, April, my April art summary. I I did the I did the visual half of it, and then I just never recorded audio to go with it. But I did. It does exist technically. I just haven't recorded the audio and posted it. And then I guess we'll post around the same time as my um, May art summary video. So you'll get lots of me. I don't really have a lot to say about my April art summary though because that was a month ago <laughs> and it's hard to think about that long ago like um I drew stuff I think maybe if I watch and see the art I did during that time period it will help me jog some memories let's hope so um oh fine don't turn off I did also buy a little cheap microphone that I can plug into my phone. I assume I could plug it into my laptop. I don't know. We'll have to try it out. But, you know, maybe that will improve my audio. I don't know. It's cheap, so maybe my phone thing is just fine, but we'll give it a shot. Um, let's get rid of some of these background sketch lines, now that we know where the hair borders are, because we do not want those. You are not helpful to our calls anymore. Sorry, buds. Nope, I didn't quite get rid of all of them. They do kind of, the colour I used for that, do kind of blend into the background a little, so that makes sense. And the problem with uh, this one layer thing is, if I accidentally draw over the antennas, then I have to go back and fix up the antennas, and that would be, that wouldn't actually be a problem. It'd just be slightly annoying. <laughs> I like this character so far. I'm not going to give them a name though, because on the shelter profile, all the characters, um, the name set for them just tends to be how much they're worth. So you can look at them and immediately know how many bells you need. I mean, not bells, berries. We shorten it to B when we write it in the price, so 12B and so forth. So I keep getting it confused with bells from Animal Crossing. <laughs> We actually named Apollo Berry Shelter based on when I was using Jasperry as a username. Um, if you've been watching this channel, you'll know that I 
had this channel and it was originally named Jasperi and then I changed and had Echoes Lab as um, a username for a bit but then I decided that didn't really suit me so now I'm Milk Bean or Milk Beanie or Milk Bean Arts depending on what username was available on what platform. <laughs> username shenanigans can be a bit sometimes can't always get the username you actually want. The other issue with this way of colouring is that it actually does hurt my hand a little bit more than the typical way because it's a bit more involved. I find the same issue with traditional art. I can't draw for as long if I'm doing it traditionally. I'll probably have to buy mobile data again because when I'm by when I upload on the Wi-Fi it tends to be extremely slow. Um, I'm hoping we get fiber installed sometime. I don't know, I just I want good Wi-Fi please. Boop 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 boop. I also keep thinking about doing vlogging again, but honestly I don't do much. I spend if I'm awake during the daytime, I'm usually wandering around aimlessly, maybe doing something to look after the cats or the rabbit. Um, being inside, annoying my grandparents now that I'm back on the same property as them. <laughs> uh, generally aimlessly doing nothing. Or I'm boredly browsing the internet, not accomplishing anything. I think I, I think the the biggest part of my time is drawing at the moment, but at the same time I'm slightly finding it harder and harder to keep myself drawing. Like I want to draw and I have ideas for drawing, it's just getting myself to sit down and actually do the drawing, however. That tends to be a little more difficult. I need to work more on Human Redefined, but at the same time I haven't done any Human Redefined stuff since I figured out this kind of drawing style, and in, with Human Redefined um, I do have a particular way of drawing that I do for that because it's supposed to be a quicker webcomic style kind of thing, you know, because if you want to put out regular updates you need things to be a little bit faster so you can't really do the extensive lots of work kind of colouring style for each and every panel <laughs> or else you'd be there forever and that's not really a good thing if you want to you know be regular with updates not that I actually am at all regular with updates like I want to I want to work on read, human redefined and I want people to enjoy and read it but at the same time I'm not really putting in the necessary amount of work for people to enjoy and read it like how are people gonna enjoy this thing you're making if you're not being regular with it and I think um, on webtoon which is where I'm publishing that um, all the originals I think they all do do update weekly and quite a few of the canvas webtoons I read, they update weekly too, and that's nuts. Um, one of them, um, Poor People Go to Hell, it's a webcomic that I really like. Um, I'm support, it's by um, two siblings, and they have a Patreon, so I'm supporting them on Patreon, and I get to see two pages ahead, which is really awesome. Um, one of them writes and one of them draws, and it's actually really cool to see that. Like. How cool is that to have someone that you can just work on art with, work on a comic with. Like I really love that concept. But at the same time, I, I've never really known how to properly collab with other people. Like I don't know how that works, like how do people decide things? I'm too... I think I'm too mild in that terms. Like. I'm not going to be pushing the envelope if I'm working with someone else. I'm going to be, hey, can you just tell me what to do and I'll do it. <laughs> Toby just squished his way past my laptop again. Um, I don't think this has turned out bad. I think I like it so far. But also, I, I haven't done her entire body. Apparently, she is a she.
I like her. Um, let's do her legs. Now that her hair is done. Bonk, we need that colour. Okay, so this would be her thigh. One thigh, the size of her thigh, her knee. Let's have her oop, her knee. Let's have her slightly kicking one leg forward. So one leg straight and one leg is forward. What are we looking at, Toby? No, you just wanted to stand there and look over my work? Okay. That's that's fine. You can you can do that, buddy. He keeps looking behind me, and I don't know what he's looking at. And then he keeps climbing onto my desk, and he knows he's not allowed on my desk, but he does it anyway. I always find legs kind of difficult to do somehow. Off. Oh. Eh, especially knees. Like, how do people do knees and feet and ankles? Everything about legs is just difficult. Um, do we want to give our character boots? I think we can give them boots. Of course, whoever adopts this character can feel free to pick any kind of pronouns for them that they want. And they're an alien, so it's like, whatever you decide is the rules for them, is the rules for them, because they're not like an official species at this point, so... Anything you want, really. Um, do we want to give them, like, a chunky belt around here? Like, a little bit of a chunky belt to kind of change the focus a little. We'll put a big old gold medallion type thing here, because I think it would look fun. And a typical brown belt. See, this is part of why I like drawing on one layer, because I feel like with this type of way you can add easily. Like, I know when you're doing sketches you can add easily too, but with this it's it's everything in one kind of thing. And I like this way of doing things. It's very, it feels very natural somehow. Like, natural for me to do. I don't know how others feel about doing it. Everyone's got, you know, different preferences on how they do things, but I like doing it this way. But it's very in the moment, like, um... Unless you actually keep an image in your mind when you're drawing, you don't, you're not really planning ahead with this way. And I'm definitely not the image in mind kind of person. Like, sorry, this brain has no images, no thoughts. It is all just random vibes and feelings up there, buddy. I've never really understood how people can picture things in their mind. Like, that doesn't really exist for me. Like, I can formulate my thoughts into words, but if I'm just sitting there not really paying attention to what I'm thinking, it's just vibes in general. There. It's, it's, there's no pictures, there's no words. So if you see me staring into space, don't ask me what I'm thinking, because honestly, it's not in words, and it's too much effort to put it into words, so no, go away. <laughs> um... There we go. I like your little belt, little lady. If you are a lady, you might not be. There we go. A nice little belt. Do you like your belt? I hope you like your belt. Let's give them some boots now. Um, Elsa, I don't want you on my lap. Um, let's give this nice little fluffy ankle bit. I feel like the character has ended up being less yellow than I planned. <laughs> but you know what, that's fine. Things do not have to be as planned. So this is a nice fluffy texture. So the ankles are warm at least. I have warm feet. I'm currently wearing really thick socks and that I love. My feet are somehow still a little bit chilly though, because honestly my feet just don't hold warmth that well. 
a little bit of shading for these fluffy fluffy fluffers got to think about what I'm what their arms are going to be doing still Ugh, difficult 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 I guess that's the downside kind of a painting on one layer is you're kind of just putting off whatever you want to the future like you don't have to think about the arms you can just do something else for a bit Toby Toby what are you squeaking about it's too dark in here to actually see where he is what are you squeaking about what are you squeaking about? Come here, crazy lady. I've picked up Toby. I don't know if you can hear him. He is purring. He is happy. He is being snuggled. I cannot snuggle you forever. Go down and harass Elsa, please. Um, where do I put my pen? Right there. Um, I feel like Toby is getting taller quicker than he can put on weight, so he's a little bit skinny at the moment. Um, and I'd really like him to put on some weight before he goes. Him and Elsa are probably going to go to the Cat Protection League and spend a brief amount of time there. And then hopefully they will get a home together, because I really want them to get home together. Because I think they're going to be upset enough at having to leave here. And it would help a lot if they can stick together and be comforted by each other's presence. I'm also going to be sad when they go. Mm. Poor, um, my other three cats are going to be grumpy at me because they get the amount of attention they want at the moment. Like, I tend to pick up Akira and bother her because Akira doesn't tend to seek me out. So, but, um, Lily and... Serafina, they tend to seek me out when they want attention and snuggles. So, but I'm going to be harassing them more often soon enough because I will be sad and missing my boys. I tend to refer to Toby and Elsa as my boys since they're the only male cats I have. And my other my three cats that I'm actually keeping. They're all ladies. For um Elsa, he's got a really pretty face. So I'm not convinced that he would identify as a boy if he were a human. For I guess not all pretty boys necessarily don't identify as boy just because they're pretty. But I think Elsa's got the vibe. Like he would be like not really vibing with the whole being a boy thing if he were a human. But you know we can't really decide that when it comes to cats. Like they don't really have the same concept of genders as humans do. So Elsa doesn't really care what you refer to him as. My nana often accidentally refers to Elsa as a she, but you know, Elsa's, an, Elsa's Elsa, he doesn't care. Brunk, brunk. It's actually kind of nice to, does, my nana also gets my pronouns wrong a lot because, you know, trans things. So it's like, ah, good, she's also misgendering the cat. <laughs> it's like, me and Elsa can be, we can bond in this. Even if Elsa, you know, doesn't care. Toby! What do you want, you little gremlin? Can you get off my desk? No, get off my desk. Get off my desk, get off my desk, get off my desk. Ugh! You're not allowed up there. Ugh, this has taken a lot longer than I thought it would, if I'm honest. No. No. I'm replying to Toby. I'm not sure if you can hear Toby. Uh, Toby, I don't want you on my chair either. No. Take your merps elsewhere. They're probably wondering why I'm, um, sitting at my desk for so long because honestly a lot of the time if I'm at my desk I tend to pause and go lie down on my bed for a bit for breaks really often like I'm not really the 
I can sit at my desk and consistently stay sitting upright for a long amount of time <laughs> kind of person but I've been sitting here for the last 40 minutes because obviously I'm recording this video for y'all I might even immediately upload put the voice file over I'll have to plug my phone into my laptop and immediately do that so I can go flop while it exports the video <laughs> Maybe in future videos we will get a little faster, or maybe I'll do time lapses of the character design. But actually, I kind of like talking while I'm drawing the character, so I can say while I'm doing things in the why I'm doing things in the moment. Like at the moment, the character is wearing a jumpsuit, so well, I did that shape to get an idea of what their legs are like underneath the clothing. Um, I'm now adding bits where the folding of folds of the clothing would be because it's not like it's not extremely fitted to her body on the legs so adding additional fold around where the legs are is how you get the foldy folds <laughs> I feel like we've done okay with this character so far. I think they would also wear a space helmet with this <laughs> because they're an alien and I'm not I'm not an original I'm not an original person all ideas are recycled from something else you've seen in your life <laughs> so this is where the knee is originally Add it so the knees are slightly lighter maybe give the idea that it's a little bit more worn there a little more worn through and I think that looks all right I know it's not like the most tidiest way of coloring but I feel like it's fun and I think fun is more important than tidy Actually, when you look at it zoomed out, it's it doesn't look messy, per se. Uh, what do we want to do with the arms, though? Let's grab that head. Copy. Copy. Paste. Flip. I can hear a carrot snoring. Size it up. Size it up. I guess we can do some temporary arms. I say temporary arms, but the permanent arms. This is just how the bigger picture is going to look. And there we go. But uh, maybe the one of the full body, she can have long sleeves. I don't know. We're still deciding on that factor. I hope you have enjoyed watching me draw, even if it has taken longer than I expected it to. I mean, I've been having fun. How about you? I really do need to get back into the swing of making videos, because like, I like making videos, but at the same time, the the exporting and the uploading, that takes longer. Like, if I could just record videos and someone else handle the everything else, I would be happy with that. Like, hey, I recorded another 10 videos today. Can you export and and upload them all to YouTube, please, Mr. Paleo bud? <laughs> I guess technically I could... If I had more money, I could pay someone else to do it, but uh, I do not have more money. And I'm, I'm not a cool YouTuber who can abuse their fans and make their fans do their editing for free. <laughs> I don't think I could do that, actually. I'd feel mean if someone were editing for free for me. I don't have money, but I guess if someone wanted to edit, I could draw for them. Like, you get some art in exchange. That could be probably the best I could do. You know, I don't typically flip while drawing because I find it tedious. But, you know, this looks alright. I mean, I feel like the lips are slightly wonky and the eyes don't entirely match. But, 
you know, no one goes around just flipping other people's art. And if you cut, if you go to my art and deliberately flip it just to see what it's like the other way, then that's your problem if it doesn't look good. <laughs> you chose to flip it, so it's your problem. For I guess in this case, I chose to flip it because it's the reference sheet. So you adopt this character, you get a reference sheet of their full body and a little heat shot. <laughs> uh, okay, we need to deal with the arms after you save. But yeah, I did not expect it to take this long. Hopefully we can speed up this process in future, or else we're just making extremely long videos. <laughs> and I'm not sure if the extremely long videos are a bad thing, I will wait for some feedback on that one. Um, I think I will actually have them have short sleeves. So we need skin colour again. Wait, let's give them pockets. Where would the pockets be on this outfit? No, let's not give them pockets. <laughs> I don't want to figure out that. Okay, so shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. Circle, circle. That's where the elbow would be. There we go, general arm shape. I guess the arm is kind of tucked a little bit behind the booty. Yep. I feel like we could probably fix up this jawline around here a little bit because the hair is kind of overlapping in bits where it should not be. Which makes sense because we drew this the hair after we did the skin, so of course it's going to do that. But I I actually like I quite like how the hair has turned out. I like how the eyes have turned out too, even though they weren't really as bright as I expected. And I th feel like this yellow I went for for the skin is probably more of a green than a yellow, especially with all these pinks around it. So yeah, we're not really going exciting for the arms. granddad just got home which is surprising considering how early it is Sorry about the quiet, I was just listening to what my granddad was doing outside. And I didn't want him to hear me talking to myself.
arms are almost done. Didn't do anything exciting with the arms, but I think that's fine. We can go more into details in future videos. Get in the weeds about it. Um, accidentally erased that elbow detail. I quite like shading skin. Um, I feel like there's a lot more wiggle room for skin colours than people really tend to think. Like, you don't have to just... Like, I'm not meaning just in terms of this character. Like, it, even if you're doing just an ordinary white person, or an ordinary black person, or an ordinary any other skin tone, you don't have to just stick to those base skin tones. You can add other colours that really push the skin colour further. Like, adding hints of purple as an undertone and so forth. Like, but you don't have to keep it quote unquote ordinary. Not sure what colour blood this character would have, so not sure what colour their blush would be. It's Homestuck's fault, I tend to think, in terms of what colour is their blood, so what colour is their blush. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll do a video where I draw different Homestuck characters, that could be fun. Because I don't really stick entirely to canon when I do fan art. It kind of depends on how well how well detailed the canon version is. Like with Stardew Valley, there's so many different ways to draw characters because it's all based on pixel art and pixel art is not always the most detailed. And then honestly, Concerned Date did not always focus on things being continuous between things. Like maybe on the map, on the sprite of their full body, they might have one colour eye, eye colour. And then in the little portraits, they might have a different eye colour. And that's just the way it is. Funky do it is. I wish people would, when colouring skin tones, use more purples and pinks and other things that aren't typically used in skin tones. Because I think it's fun, and people should have fun with the skin tones. And honestly, with all the colours. Just have fun, whack anything you want in there. I think as long as you're coming from a good place, you, there's not really a way to do it wrong. The only wrong things are the things that are obvious. Like if you're deliberately making every black person you draw just look ashy and horrible, then obviously you're coming from a bad place. But if you're just doing it like, I want this to look good, I want this to look fun, so maybe you add some purple undertones that make their skin look vibrant. For of course, if I ever do do something that's blatantly, hey, that's not cool, it, I definitely want people to tell me and tell me what is not cool about it so I can reflect on that and you know actually change my mindset rather than just going all right this one particular thing is bad and I should not think about that ever again <laughs> Sorry if it feels like I'm rushing. I'm kind of wanting to go in and see my grandparents before they go to bed. <laughs> For they might have already yeeted off to bed, I don't know. Who knows? Depends on how tired my granddad was. Because it is 2 a.m. He um, does three day shift, three night shift, and then three days off typically, but he might be changing next week. Hopefully he gets his week off still, because he needs that week off, because he is very retired. He was supposed to be retired, but he decide, ended up deciding to go back to work for a combination of financial reasons, and honestly he was going kind of stir crazy being at home. It sounds like one of my cats wants water. Now 
so I'd like to shut off again. It's automatic, so that doesn't mean anything. Um, uh, one arm's kind of thicker than the other, isn't it? Maybe the colour on the two fingers on this hand are because she had scars or something, I don't know. Um, add a little bit more here. And then I think this character is actually done now. So sorry I took so long drawing that. Didn't really intend to, but sometimes it do be like that. Thank you for watching. Um, reminder they have Patreon. You can see things sooner there. Not that I tend to have a lot to see soon or identify to post everything as soon as I'm finished it but you can see things there um, you should check out Human Redefined on Webtoon um, I don't know if I have that linked in the description hopefully I do see you next time check out my other social medias